What's going on guys and girls, it's your boy Suki and I'm back with another video over on Super Duper Tech. Now in today's video I just wanted to compare the brand new released MacBook to the likes of the 12.9 inch iPad Pro as well as the 9.7 inch iPad Air 2. <laughs> Now, I didn't want to waste any time and as you can see on screen I have the results all compiled into one little neat table for you to see. Now I've got the actual test at the end of the video so if you do want to go and check out how I conducted the test then by all means you can. Now the first test that I did run was Geekbench 3. Now as you can see by the scores the iPad Pro did beat out the brand new released 2016 12-inch Retina MacBook with 1.1 GHz processor and also the iPad Air 2. Now the next test that I went and conducted was GFX Bench GL. Now this tests the open GL graphics performance of these machines. Now GFX Bench does conduct a number of tests for both high intensity as well as low intensity. So I've conducted an average on all these results to give you the high and the low intensive tasks. Now on the MacBook side, it does conduct both an on-screen and an off-screen render of the graphics. So I've included both of those results too. Now as you can see, the iPad Pro yet again beats both the MacBook as well as the iPad Air 2. Now the next test that I did go out and conduct was a typical speed test. Now the speed test does test both the download and upload capabilities of the wireless system found on these machines. Now overall I would give this test to the iPad Air 2 as the download speeds were a little higher than the likes of the iPad Pro and the upload speeds did match the iPad Pro. So yet again it does look like the MacBook is trailing in third place. Now next up I did go ahead and conduct another GFX bench but this time I tested the Metal instead of the OpenGL. Now just like the OpenGL tests I did conduct, I did average off both the high and the low intensive tasks that were performed. So again, as you can see, continuing the theme of this entire video, the MacBook is in third place, followed by the iPad Air 2 and taking it out on top is the iPad Pro. So now that we know that the MacBook near enough comes out in third place when compared to both the iPad Pro as well as the iPad Air 2. I went ahead and tested both these two on applications that only they have. So as you can see I did test the 3D Mark Slingshot test on both the iPad Pro and the iPad Air 2 with the iPad Pro again taking the win and the same story happens over on the Antutu benchmark test which tests again the RAM, the processing as well as the memory storage capabilities of these tablets so guys that has been it for the results now what follows this outro is of course the actual test if you did want to go out and check them for yourself now on the left hand side i do have my macbook review and on the right hand side i do have my ipad pro unboxing video guys if you enjoyed the video then do please hit the like button subscribe if you want to stay up to date whenever i upload my next video and i'll catch you guys in the next video Thank you very much for watching, have a good one.